Hi guys. All right. So I don't know why with all of this insect apocalypse that we're having everywhere, it's always the bad guys that uh, seem to be doing just fine. So this guy is a tussock moth caterpillar. Those spots on his back, what those are, are parasitic wasp eggs in him. So anyway, we are having a regular downpour of these caterpillars here at Crazy Crane Campground. And uh, just the, the debate going on about these little guys that you see crawling up my arm right now uh, with his little hairs and his little pointers and stuff. Uh, so anyway, my next door neighbor was talking about how these things cause this nasty rash. And another neighbor of mine was, uh, you know, saying the same thing to me. He actually showed me uh, scars that he got from these things years ago when he acts when one, just one of them. And I said, what are you talking about, dude? These things are, are totally non... I mean, they look scary as hell. Uh, man, that, those wasps, those baby wasps are going to eat well. So they look scary as hell. But they're clearly... I, I mean, they're walking all over me. I could probably put this thing in my mouth. I, I have no reaction whatsoever to this creature. And... Uh, so you get on the uh, so you get on the computer and you Google these things. Uh, are these now? It's my uh, we're gonna go. Uh, obviously, we're gonna get uh, out of focus here. So I Google are these guys poisonous? Here is the first thing that comes up. One reason for all the attention they receive is that, unfortunately, the hairs on these caterpillars can cause a very itchy rash. The prickly hairs are a defense mechanism, but they are not poisonous or venomous. So they're not poisonous, they're not venomous, but they can cause this nasty rash, and you can't see that picture very well since we went out of focus. Looks very similar to the uh, rash this guy showed me. Um, here is uh, the white mark tussock moth caterpillar. Have what can best be described as toxic pincushion hairs on their backs, and even worse, contact with the hairs of this caterpillar don't just cause you to recoil. The hairs actually are embedded in your skin. And then we have uh, this one. Like other tussock moths, a white marked tusk moth caterpillars have articulating articulating hairs meaning stinging hairs the hairs are not attached to venom glands like the hairs and bristles on more dangerous caterpillars however they can puncture the skin causing hives and skin rashes on individuals who are highly sensitive to them so that is the uh, saw so whether you're highly sensitive. Obviously, I am not highly sensitive. I've had 500 of these things. I am a little worried about this particular tick bite. I have I have pulled 16 ticks off of me, and uh, most of them, you know, just look like like this. 16 of these things, but there's one, I don't know guys, uh, are we getting the dreaded Lyme's disease, you know, the bullseye with the mark, and then the white ring, and then the red ring, 
So I don't know if I've gotten goddamn Lyme's disease for the second time in my life or not. What do you guys think? Is that the dreaded Lyme's disease bullseye? Good God. You know, when the mosquitoes are starting, I doubt you can see this dragonfly buzzing around. We're getting rained caterpillars and ticks and the mosquitoes are cranking back up and uh... Where's the insect apocalypse when you need it? Get out there and enjoy your insect apocalypse while you still can and stay out of line of the Lyme's disease.